Yeah, how's it going, everyone? Marilyn here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Sun Nuzlocke Revenge. Yeah, last time we took out Olivia, and we're doing a little bit of training here. Training up Portobello, who I think will be invaluable against How. Like, this is a really tough How fight. That Raichu is brutal! So, yeah, we definitely need an answer to that. And although I do have a wonderful ground type in the form of Maude, honestly, I don't know. I don't really know how well she can take a psychic. So, yeah. Um, where the heck is my starter? Oh, well, it died when we were fighting against Mewtwo, obviously. No, everything's in the PC. We have a few things in the PC. Uh, because, you know, we might as well be training with the experience share to get most out of things. Uh, but I am kind of wondering if I should get Maude up to 30 just in case. Because being at level 30 would be nice, because then I'd evolve. That'd be handy. Study 100 subscribing for the eighth month in a row saying hi. Hey, well, thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. Uh, I'm really nervous about this fight. So you know what? I think we're going to do just that. We're going to leave Duchess behind. And we are going to bring Maude on the team. Let's do that. All right. Swap out. Maude. On the team. All right, Mud Bray. He ate, I believe. Cool. Fix this. Boop. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so. You know what I found? I found the training inside of the forest. It wasn't really that great. I think it's probably going to work out better if we just go do the fishing love disc thing. I think that worked. Fairly well. Uh, anyway, Nibs08 subscribing with Twitch Prime for the 11th month in a row, saying, Hope your awesome luck continues, and here's to many more months of awesome streams. Well, thank you so much for that big service. Congrats on 11 months. Getting really close to that one year mark. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so, Love Disc time. I hope you love these things. Oh, I should probably heal, right? Yeah, you have like two Fury Cutters left. Okay. We'll go do that, and then we're gonna fight some Love Disc. <laughs> oh, man. Never thought we'd be doing this, but it's actually a reasonable experience, all things considered. Okay, well, let's get to it. Do, 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 do. I like this outfit. <laughs> oh, we should go, uh, we should go chuck some pukumuku, right? Get some money. You know what? Let's do that, like, right now. Because I do like money. Money's a nice thing. The more money you have, the more clothes you can buy. And that's good stuff. So let's do that really fast here. So we'll be all set. All right. Gotta go get some people. Yeah, if only I could fight against the Tentacool over here. But, like, Tentacool and Wingle, not a good thing for Portobello to be fighting. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Yeah, you can do this uh, every day. Which is very nice. Great way to earn money. The more money you have, the more plushies you can buy. I mean, that is also kind of true. Although, I wonder how Portobello could do against Staryu. Or if they'd be worthwhile. I feel like they're not that worthwhile. But, 
would be kind of interesting. Hmm. I will have to, uh, I'll have to check that out, actually. But I'll do that after these people. I have a feeling like that'll be pretty good, though. Or at least it could. It could be. <laughs> yeah, but primarily clothes money. That's the primary thing we need. Okay, I got all your pukumuku. So give me some money. Oh yeah, there we go. 20,000 bucks. Nice. Hey, thanks. That's A plus one for the five bits. Really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so Portobello. Hopefully this will work out okay. really have any good grass moves on you. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. We don't have any good damaging grass moves. <laughs> we have one of the best grass moves. We have Spore. But, yeah. Okay, so hopefully these star you give some good experience, because I actually forgot about them. And I don't think they have anything that's a threat. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I don't I think it's a psychic type yet. Psy wave. Oh, that could be obnoxious. Shake that shroom! Okay. I guess I can leech life. <laughs> That's right. We'll just do that since it hit me fairly hard. Probably going to be a 2 hit KO. Or not. That's fine. 240 experience. So that's actually not that bad. Probably about what we're getting from Love Disc. So let's just fight these things. I feel like they go a lot faster. Besides, wouldn't it be tight if we got a shiny star you? Or a shiny sandcastle thing. That'd be cool. Alright, let's leech life. Recover? Nope. No problem. Ugh. Oh, you actually hit pretty darn hard. Backy back! Leveling up. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, Stardust. <laughs> okay, I don't think Leech Life is going to do much. Actually, I should probably just run. Well, no, you know what? I could switch out for Fluff Ball, I think, or Wingading. Yeah, we're gonna hit this thing with uh, water. Because why not, right? Sand attack. But wait! It's a ground type move! Ah, uh, oh well. That's fine. You know what? You only deserve a water pulse. Did I? Oh yeah, I did this. Because I got hit with sand attack. How's it going, Ash TV? Let it stop by. Out for the evening, that's fine. Okay, well, this is reasonable. As far as experience goes. I mean, it's not great, but realistically, there's not a lot of great opportunities to train in, uh, Ka this isn't Kalos. Alola, wow. I did have some tea today. Should be waking up. I don't know why I'm not. But, oh well. It's all right. Swift. No problem. No problem to solve this. Eat it all back up. Mm -mm. Delicious. Delicious. So what level did I want to get Portobello up to? I don't even remember if we were going for 30 or not.
I really don't know. Because I think the strategy will be to spore the Raichu and then just leech life. I mean, I probably could just go straight for leech life and I'll probably take it out in one hit. But just in case. Uh, game player Stu with 500 bits! Thank you so much for all the bits. Really appreciate that. That is awesome. Sucker Punch. Uh, not exactly what I like on my Gengar. Could be useful, but you're usually pretty fast. Yeah, we don't need it. Nah. We don't. Okay. So, I think if we just fly over here, it'll reset it. <laughs> hey, game players do saying, figured I'd abuse the Twitch Prime bits deal. Oh, you mean the deal where you can buy 500 bits for, well, for $1 US. I know it's different in other countries. That's like free money. <laughs> oh man, at least to streamers. It is a really good deal though. So thank you for that. All right, let's see. Yeah, they respawn, nice. Right, free money. Free money is good. It's like giving me a $5 bill, but all you paid for it was a $1 bill. Doesn't that seem weird? <laughs> that actually does, if you think about it. Okay, it's 153 euros. 1.53 euros. Alright, see ya, Ash TV. And the only stipulation with that is you have to have Twitch Prime. Which is a pretty good deal if you have Amazon Prime already. I mean, if you already have it, you darn well better link it. Just saying. And you don't have to deal with ads when you're watching on Twitch. And then you don't have to, uh, uh, actually I guess that's really the main thing that it removes, but you do get a few other cool benefits. You can subscribe to someone every month. I'd say for free, but it is, you know, you do pay for Twitch Prime, for Amazon Prime. <laughs> but yeah, you've probably heard me talk about that a bunch. But you know what? I do it because it helps both streamers on Twitch and also viewers, like, it is nice not having to deal with commercials most of the time. Okay, we just melted that sandcastle. Uh, yes, this is what you would probably count as grinding. I need to get Portobello all caught up. RV2009JT subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate that. That is awesome. Saying hello. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> All this self promotion. Is this a sellout stream? It can be whatever kind of stream you want it to. No, not quite. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're calling for help? What? That's fine. I think the sand can really do that much. Uh, yeah. Hey, thanks, JMS Firestone, for the bits. Lovely little cupcakes. Two scoops. Uh, I would not want to eat sand, thank you very much. That sounds quite disgusting. Okay. Kinda weird, I actually don't want to see the sand castles now. But that's the third one in a row! Ugh. So I pretty much have to, uh, I have to switch out. Portobello doesn't really have anything 
that can be done. I could use Fluff Ball. But realistically, Wingeting is fine. Yeah, they're 20%. How's it going, Moldy Toblerone? No problem. Okay, Portobello, 28. Ugh, I really feel like I should be at level 30. Even though I know that the Raichu isn't, I know that thing hits like a truck. I guess I could train Day up. That might not be a bad idea. What are you doing? Oh no! Oh! Here I was completely forgetting my type coverage because, you know, bug, I don't know bug. That is the one type that I will always, always be unfamiliar with, like no matter what I do. I was thinking, oh, well, nothing I can do to that. But yeah, it's the other way around. It's round doesn't do good against bug for some reason. For reasons I don't know. I don't think I'll ever memorize it. Like, I've tried. I've tried for so many years, and still, there are little things that trip me up with that. Oh, hey, how's it going, L. Rachel R5? Just got through the frost cavern in your ex-wedlock. Nice. Nice job on the shiny bergmite, too. Okay, let me grab some of this. Uh, why am I here? I'm here because I needed a heal, but you know what? I don't really need to be here. Instead, if I can use Maude to fight against the Trumbee, that would be great. Why not SOS the Sandcastle? They don't really give enough experience. Like, it takes more time setting them up for it. Not really worth it. I was SOSing Love Disc because fishing takes a lot more time, but even that was going pretty slow. Wait, Maude, do you have Rock Tomb? You do. Wonderful. Okay. Just remember, a lot of bugs live in the ground. Yeah, but the problem with that is, sure, a lot of bugs live in the ground, but if <laughs> you ran a bulldozer over some bugs, I don't think they'd be uh, too resilient. Or if there is an earthquake, I don't think the bugs would be surviving that well. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of trash, King Freak Kello. That's a lot of trash. Uh, no. Lurantis is the next trial. The next trial is a guy named How, with his Raichu. That thing is brutal. Technically, yeah, it's beautiful. But really, it is right. Fake Shadow. We're actually getting really close to evolving. That could be useful. So land it! Okay. Why did the message appear twice? Because it was auto modded. That's what happens. Hey, thanks for the bits, Thornya on the Beast. 
I don't even know if it's a land that's worth it. I'm also really surprised Mud A is outspeeding things. Very unexpected. She's just a fast donkey. Are we leading with Mod A at, at the Aether Paradise? No, we're gonna be leading with Portobello, but switching immediately out for Mod A. Because Mod A should be able to handle uh, the Ultra Beast, no problem. Not even worried. Not even worried. Ugh. Where did I lose that in the original Nuzlocke run? Literally the final fight. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Uh, I lost to Kukui. <laughs> I didn't quite get to the actual final fight, but yeah. Hey, thanks, Shiny Hunter. 5577 for the bits. Okay. Come on. Give me... I need more of the birds. That's what I need. Not these things. These aren't the things I need. Oh, nice, Khalifa. I'm kind of worried that Maude won't be able to take a Psychic that well. But I think I'm going to use Portobello. Although, I really should see. Because if Maude has more special defense after she evolves than Portobello, well, you know, I might as well. But she has a lower special defense nature, so... There! I want more of these. Much more of these, please. And Maude is going to be a monster after she evolves in one level. Iron Defense? You know, honestly, I'm sure it's a cool move, but it really seems pretty redundant when you have stamina. Like, you'll get so much defense anyway. Yeah, I think Maude could probably handle Psychic after evolving. But there is a part of me that just wants to wreck that thing with Portobello, so I think I'll still do that. Give Portobello a chance to shine. Because if he can't do that, then he didn't really have a bright future anyway. Oh, Michael Karka 6 with 500 bits saying happy Friday. Hey, well, thank you so much for the bits. Happy Friday to yourself as well. Hopefully it's a nice start to a nice weekend. It's actually going to be good weather for like the next 10 days where I live, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome because it's been just absolute misery where I live. For the whole month. <laughs> the whole month! I could have sworn that the birds were a lot more common here. Okay, there's a bird. like a 40% chance of running into birds in the forest. I don't think so. I think I'm thinking of something else. But it's okay. Wingading wants to learn fling. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, no. I don't think we need you to learn fling. But it is just a really funny thing for Wingading to want to learn fling. Wait, who else leveled up? Was that Becky Beck? Becky Beck, did you level up? You did. What a good burb. You are like... So close to evolving. 
So close. Wait, what the heck? Why would people be wearing jackets when it's 30 degrees Celsius, Khalifa? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I know some people, they, they really do, uh, you know, they'll wear jackets everywhere. But if it's that warm, that's, I think, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I need to be in, like, some very comfy clothes. Oh, man. <laughs> uh. King Freak Kello subscribing for the 10th month in a row, saying, speaking of a nice weekend, I have my first free weekend since January. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Yay, I can stay for an entire Friday stream this time. Nice. Well, I hope you have some fun today. And hopefully it's a nice weekend. Enjoy the time off. Jacket and pants all year round, even in the summer. Yeah, I know. I've met people like that as well. I just don't get it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, Khalifa. 38 degrees Celsius. Hopefully they're still not wearing jackets then. That's pretty hot though. I don't remember what that is. I think it's like 100 or so Fahrenheit. Good luck, I need it. Yeah, well, so far in this one, it's been going all right. I got through a lot of the tough fights, but it's definitely, uh, definitely going to be a struggle against, like, Mimikyu and stuff. Thirty-eight degrees Celsius equals one hundred point four Fahrenheit. Well, <laughs> I guess I was about right. Yeah, I personally use Fahrenheit. I've been trying to make an effort to kind of learn, not really through calculations, but just quick conversions in my mind of okay, what's ten Celsius? What's fifteen Celsius? What's twenty? Like. If I give it even a little thought, I can usually figure it out. And I have most degrees from 0 Celsius to about 30 pretty much committed to memory, but it's kind of when I'm outside of that range. I have to go like, wait. But, yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's nice. It's, uh... Right now, it is about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which, if I'm not mistaken, is what, like, 13 Celsius, I want to say? Around there? And it just, it feels so nice, because it was closer to literally zero just a few days ago. Okay, there we go. There's Giga Drain. You can evolve at any time now. Oh, no worries at all about that, Khalifa. And we mostly just depend on Celsius measures in Bahrain, so sorry about that. No, no need to apologize. Like, um, I personally use Fahrenheit, but I also do try to, uh, to engage with people that do use Celsius, so I can kind of, kind of like, in my mind, think, oh, okay, I understand how hot it is if it's 26 Celsius right now or whatever it is like I do like seeing people saying what it is in Celsius because that's how I learn and I you know I, I'm definitely not one of those it's like oh we'll I'll use Fahrenheit no because otherwise the rest of the world's like well why the heck are you using Fahrenheit <laughs> come on you're like one of two countries nah, I think we all just need to treat each other with respect that's what it boils down to that's what I try to do. Um, but I try to learn both, and I think that's kind of nice. Uh, Wasser with 200 bits saying, Hi, Marilyn. Recently, I've been falling asleep listening to you. You stream until 1 a.m. for me. Here's a thanks. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm glad you, uh, glad you like that. Glad that my voice 
Or my content, one of the two, is enough to put me to sleep. Hopefully it's the voice. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the bits, and I'm glad you've been enjoying things. Alright, gotta do it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know why I like doing that so much, but I do. Uh, what other country uses Fahrenheit? I... I wanna say it's a... South American country. But I don't remember which one. I just know that there's one other. It actually might be in, um... Oh, where? The... Caribbean. <laughs> it might be somewhere in there. But, yeah. Oh, jeez. That's ridiculous, Khalifa. 55 degrees Celsius in Iraq. That's ridiculous. I don't think I could put up with that. Uh, no. I can tell you Australia does not use Fahrenheit. I was there. That's actually where I started learning Celsius. In preparation for my trip to uh, Australia. Beat the ghost trial with no deaths. Nice job, Solar Turtle. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it is Liberia. Come to think of it. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is not a lot of places in the world do use uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, it probably is that, then. Wait, what? Palau uses Fahrenheit? Okay, well, I'm my Miss Red. Uh, okay. Anyway, this should be enough! We're gonna get a big horse, of course! I feel like I should evolve Becky back while I'm here. Like, we're so close. Oh yeah, there we go. Maw day. Oh, I was hoping that Becky back would get that experience. Alright, here we go. Little Maw Day's evolving! Oh! Alright! Look at her now! She's got them dreads on. <laughs> She's got some Marilit going on today, right? Right? Oh man. Alright, let's see what it says about her. It spits a mud that provides resistance to both wind and rain, so the walls of old houses were often covered with it. Oh, okay. All right, and thank you for the five bits, the egg dog, saying today I learned about what countries use Fahrenheit and what places use Celsius. Indeed. Uh, let's see. So that's exciting. How close is Becky back? <laughs> Gotta be fairly close, right? A thousand experience away. That's not too bad. I forgot you have a tear. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I could probably fight those star you. All right, let's go over here. Actually, we could go to the forest. We could fight everything in the forest. I didn't even need to fly there, really. about Fake Shadow. Yeah, I guess he'll evolve soon, too. But I'm probably not going to be using him. He's just kind of there. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this, Becky Beck. Uh, I guess you can fight other Becky Becks. Oh, look at that. It's Paris. Paris. 
Man, I'm gonna miss Becky back like this. I like Chumbeak. It has a really long beak. Oh, the effects for! Don't do this to me! Oh, man. I'm gonna sleep now. It's too bad. Rising Star Elijah subscribing with Twitch Prime for the ninth month in a row, saying nine months subscribed. Huh? Watching plenty of epic Nuzlocke wins, fails, and other awesome moments. It's been a great nine months being a sub. Well, that's awesome to hear. Really do appreciate that. That's some big service. Nine months. Wow. Glad you've enjoyed it. Eat some mushroom and fall asleep. Pokemon for kids, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Merilit Day today for Becky Back, apparently. Uh, let's Fury Attack, because that's actually going to hit for more. Oh, okay. Did I ever watch Bill Nye the Science Guy? I did. What the heck? You just got here. Okay. This is weird. Oh. Wow, this thing is bulky. Stop rapping! Ah, uh, magical. Not a problem. Okay, let's just go ahead and pluck this one. You give a lot of experience, though. Portobello wants to learn Slash. You know what? I don't really think you need Slash. Stop with the rap! Ugh, I should probably use Roost, just in case. Actually doing a pretty fair amount of damage. Alright, well thankfully you have Roost. Don't use it that often, but it's nice to have just in case. Hey, how's it going, Salty Kitty Games? Nap time in California. It's like 2:38 there. Oh so yeah, actually, <laughs> you're right. What am I talking about? Uh oh. Are there any good grass attacks I can put on Portobello? Not right now. Alright, I don't really like this. Uh... I should probably do the responsible thing and roost, but I think I'll be able to survive one more turn. Uh, okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Can't believe this thing kissed my bird. Oh, is it not enough to take it out? I kissed a bird and I liked it. <laughs> oh no. We're going there. We're going there. 39 over on the East Coast. No, that's incorrect. Because a minute has passed. Well, I mean, it's correct now, but... Uh, it wasn't. Okay, look at you, Becky Beck. <laughs> okay, there we go. You really earned that one. Oh, Fake Shadow is so close to evolving, too. Alright, we get this thing. I've literally never used this thing before. I don't know what to expect from it. Whoa! <laughs> I guess you really did like it. 
All right, anyway, nice. We got the big angry, angry bird. All right, Becky Beck, your beak is getting so big. <laughs> it's such a big beak. All right, let's see. I'm kind of curious what your stats are all about. Oh, here we go, we're talking Fahrenheit again. When in battles, its beak heats up. The temperature can easily exceed 212 degrees Fahrenheit, causing severe burns when it hits. That's pretty hot. All right, um, you have something you can learn, right? Beak blast. That sounds incredible. Unfortunately, if I recall, you're not very fast anymore. So what does this thing do? 100 power, and if it gets damage in that turn, it gets a burn. That's pretty cool, actually. Wow, your special defense is actually not that bad. Um... I don't know what I want. Like, I'll probably get rid of Pluck. I don't think I need that anymore. And realistically, I could always get Aerial Ace if I wanted it. Uh. Shoot. I kind of want to keep Fury Attack because it's a nice 75 power move. Yeah, we're getting rid of Pluck. We're not so fast anymore. And even to that, whatever, it's fine. Am I really going to pick on those minute minute differences? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> I see what you did there. It took me a minute, though. Uh, let's see. I guess I did just look at your stats, but I am still curious. Yeah, look at that. 72 attack. Even with a negative nature. So you're, like, on par with Portobello. Actually not quite as slow as I thought. You're not great, but... Wow, I like how your defenses... Like, these two birds, they have pretty much completely flipped defenses. Hmm. You actually have a lot of hit points, too. Wow, you have almost as much as a Mudsdale. Holy smokes! That's crazy. All right, cool. Wait, there's no disadvantage to using Beak Blast? What? Thought it has lower priority. Or maybe it's just if, uh, if you are outsped. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, now the question is, do I want to evolve Fake Shadow? Like, we're this close, right? How, how close? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I was wondering, you know, maybe we're like a hundred, maybe two hundred. No, we're, we're three. We're three experience, literally three. All right, like, I can fight a Weedle, and that'll be enough to do that. Although, if I'm fighting a Weedle, that'd be kind of interesting, because they aren't even here. All right, I think we can do that. <laughs> That's, uh... That is pretty close. All right, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, actually, I don't want to waste the potion. I'm just gonna go wreck something. Actually, I should heal. I should heal. That is hilarious. Thanks for the three bits, Sarah Smiles. Perfect number. Free experience. Well, at least that's not going to be too long. Okay. Let's see. Rare candy. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's going to take so long to get it, you know? Okay, Fletchender. Yeah! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> You look so angry now. I don't know if I like it. But you do look pretty cool. Like, I wish that they made this thing look a little happier. Alright, let's try this beat blast out. 
quick attack. Oh, you do not want to do that. Whoa! All right, there we go. There we go, fake shadow. Now you will evolve. I don't know when I'm going to evolve him into Gengar. I should probably update that. <laughs> I wasn't even typing. All right, there. Yeah, you look so spooky now. Not transparent though. No bad. <laughs> it's okay. Oh man, all right, we got this thing. It strikes at humans from total darkness. Those licked by its cold tongue grow weaker with each passing day until they die. Ugh. It's pretty hideous, actually. Uh, Shadow Punch. I mean, we do need a ghost type move. I... Actually, I feel like Nightshade is still going to do more. Yeah, we don't need Shadow Punch. Like, it doesn't help against anything. Like, you just have such weak attack. Yeah, we don't need it. We'll be getting Shadow Ball soon enough anyway, so it's fine. Alright, now I have to uh, sort out this team, right? We have to figure out who's going to be fighting. We're not going to be doing the, uh, the How fight, but I might as well make my way over to the Aether Foundation. Uh, Cutscenes. I guess I didn't need a yield, did I? Oh, well, it's all right. Okay, so who is not coming along? Realistically, I don't think we need Becky back to come along. Uh, Wingadang might not be bad. You don't need the Eviolite anymore, but you could totally use that. Yeah. Adam and Prather with five bits saying, bring a young goose. <laughs> I don't know about that. But thank you for the bits, nonetheless. Um, okay. So I have to give this some thought. We obviously need these two on the bottom. We don't need you. We really don't. Um, we probably don't need Fluffball. Alright, we definitely want Chuny. We don't need both of these birds. We really don't. Uh, water type might be good to have, though. Bring Knuckles. I could do that. No, we need to bring Duchess, actually, because that immunity. If things go south against Raichu, we'll be, uh, we'll be okay, I guess. How's this look? Do we need both birds? We really don't. Um. I could get rid of one of them. Or Knuckles. Knuckles could help. Just not against Raichu. Fluffball is another possibility. I mean, it doesn't do a ton, but, you know, Poison Powder, Leech Seed, Giga Drain. Kind of nasty. Actually, not that bad. Um, you still don't have a good option against Vikavolt. Not really. I mean, Maude would do all right. That'll probably be what I go with. Uh, okay... I guess we'll leave behind... I don't know! Who should we leave behind? Which of these two? Kinda like them both. I think we're gonna bring Becky back. We 
because we don't really need water right this moment. Okay. So how many leftovers do I have? I have two of them left over. Whoa! 1,000 Kappa bits from Jedi Aster. Dang! Thank you so much for all the bits. Really appreciate that. Holy smokes. Uh, let's put this on Maude. Actually, let's put the Eviolite on my cat. I also need to update the layout, but I'll do that in a moment. I just kind of wanted to finalize the team because it takes time. You do that. All right, where are you, cat? Let's do this. We'll give you this thing. You don't evolve for a little while. Okay. Now, let's see. I... Should I just redo this entire thing? It might not be a bad idea. Oh. You have Becky Bet. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to. Alright, let's just type them all out again. Everyone's gone! Where are all my friends? Where do they all go? Alright, it's fine. We'll do it. Okay, so we got for a cat, level 26. You need some training. Maybe I should do a little bit of that before I go. That might make a little more sense, actually. Um, We have Duchess. She needs to, of course, be in the second spot. Uh, paint. Her gender icon will appear in a moment. Then I guess we have Knuckles. Mariyama. 27. Male, which will appear in a moment. Then we have Becky Beck. The. What are you? Cannon. The 8. Here we have. Mud A. The Muds Dale. Already. And lastly, we have Porto. Hello. Uh, the Parasect. The Nine. All right. There we go. Okay. That's the team. I like it. Artemu subscribing for 12 months in a row, full year. Hey, well thank you so much for that, saying 12 months, a whole year since I started supporting you on Twitch. That is amazing, good luck with all the future battles. Well thank you so much for the big service, really do appreciate that. All right, you know what, we don't really have much time and I think I'd rather just have this as a training episode type thing. So we're just gonna fight in the forest without the experience share, just to give, uh, just to give Toonie a little bit of experience here. She's falling a little bit behind, and I think we do have room. I think that's all right. Okay. Ah, the gold tail looks good on ya. Okay. Uh, I don't really know where I want to train in here. I'm wondering if there'd be somewhere better for Toonie to fight. I really don't know. Oh, well, we'll just fight these things. Just do a little bit of that. Uh, yeah, you're getting really close to 27. I can't believe Maryland isn't following Maryland. Yeah, I know. Ridiculous. Oh, where else to train? Like, there's all these water spots. Okay, this is fine. They gave a good amount of experience. Uh... Yeah, we'll fire pledge. Oh, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be holding an item with acrobatics. Or I could just get rid of acrobatics. That's still a 55 power move, so it's not like the end of the world. 
I think the Eviolite would be better on you. No! No friends for you! Nuh-uh. Alright, 410. Good job, Toonie. Okay. I wonder if I can just use Fire Fang. <laughs> Yum! Delicious! It really was sweet. Tundra I'll just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that big service. Really do appreciate it choosing me with your Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's see. Do you like this fire fang, huh? Oh. It will be able to gain experience a lot faster. Pretty soon, at least. It's a Becky Beck! Oh, why can't I fight these things all day? Actually, why am I not fighting them? You can one-hit KO them. Might as well go over there. Go outside for it. Because you do run into them a little bit more frequently, I think. Do you? You know what? I'm too lazy to check. Let's just finish it up here. We have like one or two minutes. One or two. Then I'll take a quick break. Unless they're on YouTube. <laughs> and then it won't be quite so quick, I'm sorry. But I do think it's good that we get this training out of the way. That way we'll have Portobello ready to go. Thing is, I don't even think that the uh, that the Raichu's that high of a level. Just think that it hits so hard. I've had a very bad time there. Ooh, Paris. But I do think using Portobello will be the best idea, or the worst idea. We'll have to see. Oh. Right, I was going to compare their uh, their stats. Wait, right? She's level 29. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was thinking it was 25. All right, let's see. So let's compare defenses. You have 53 special defense. You have 59. You have 100 hit points. You have 84. So I actually, I think Maude would take it a little bit better. But I also think it doesn't really matter. Um, either will be fine. So we'll go with Portobello, just because. And I do think Spore... I think if we did Spore, it'd be fine. Because I don't think it has like a Lumberry or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna figure that out after the break. I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Aw, yeah.